When a VAMAS file is first opened, the first row is selected as indicated by the blue background to the block names and each one of these blocks that are selected are displayed in the left hand side in a scroll list. Although one is only is visible here, if we click in the background of the scroll list we step through the set of display tiles that are currently active in this scroll list. We can display more than one tile per page using the page tile format dialog window and if I select say four and press OK you now see four tiles per page so the number of pages is reduced indicated by the scroll list and we can now see that there is a blue bar that is associated with one of these tiles. This blue bar corresponds to the red that you see here that surrounds the survey spectrum. As you can see the survey slash ATM corresponds to the survey slash ATM here and if I wanted to I could select and display all of these data and currently I can see that this blue bar corresponds to this particular survey but if I want to know which one of these blocks over here corresponded to the data that I see in this Cerium 3D slash M20 if I click on it the bar goes here indicating it's the active tile and the active tile has a red box that is indicating that the data in this FAMAS block is currently being displayed in the active tile.